Champion Surrey slumped to first defeat of the season. After Keaton Jennings scored 199 in Lancashire's first innings effort of 512, their bowlers ripped through Surrey's top order to leave them fighting an unenviable battle to preserve their unbeaten status in their final match of the season. That task got more difficult early in the day, Jordan Clark chopping Williams onto his stumps to go for five. They were almost up to 150 when Overton was removed, caught by Villas off Parkinson. Laws tried to counter-attack, the Lancashire spinner lifted for six. But another Surrey batter would fall by the wayside, Steele out LBW to Hartley for a gritty 47. Roach and Laws did all they could to shut up shop and deny Lancashire any further wicket before lunch, but Hartley fired one past Law's legs to leave Surrey down to their final wicket, Moriarty joining Roach. The latter added some final flourishes to push his side beyond 200. Heedfall looking for another big shot, Hartley pumps down the ground straight to Williams. Surrey all out for 209, still 303 behind the hosts. It had been a really disappointing performance from the champions. Still with 47 was their top scorer, with only Amler, Laws and Roach late on making it beyond 20. Williams had impressed again with the ball, finishing with 3 for 41, Hartley 3 for 28. After two runs in two overs before lunch, Patel and Burns resumed, and suddenly Surrey looked like their old selves again. The opening pair had the measure of the pitch and the Lancashire attack, and they steadily moved their total to 50 from 115 balls. Burns had scored the majority of the runs so far, and moved to his 50 down the track to Hartley to add six. The captain allowed himself a little smile as he watched it disappear into the Manchester sky. He tried to do it again, but this time Hartley got his own back. Burns bowled behind his legs for 61. Patel would stick around long enough to see Surrey tick over to three figures, but he would fall soon after, chipping Parkinson to a diving Balderson. Amler and Smith solidified the innings, and they saw Surrey all the way through to tea. They were trailing the hosts now by 176. Amler would go for 15 after the break, LBW to Hartley. Steele left Surrey five down. Villas and Bell combining well to run the number five out for just five. And Hartley soon had a third, Curran taken by Croft for a four ball duck. Smith was out in the next over, taken by Jennings off Parkinson, and the spinners traded wickets. Surrey suddenly seven down as Overton was bowled by Hartley for one, but Hartley was winning the battle of the Lancashire Twirlers and sealed himself a maiden fifer. Laws LBW for a 12 ball duck. Surrey 8 down and trailing by 152. Jordan Clark tried to dig in with Roach, but the bowling was relentless, and finally the number 7 fell, LBW to Bailey, bowling some handy off spinners. Surrey one wicket away from their first defeat of the season. Try as they might, they wouldn't make it to the close. The match wrapped up when Kemar Roach was given LBW to Matt Parkinson, Lancashire sealing the victory by an innings and 130 runs. It was a disappointing end to the season for Surrey, the defeat the only one they'd suffered. But they won't be too worried, it had been some campaign for them, culminating in last week's championship ceiling success back home against Yorkshire. They'll surely be there or thereabouts next year, they're a side packed with young, exciting talents who have provided us with some magical moments throughout the season. If this performance is anything to go by, Lancashire could very well be in the title picture too.